Good morning and welcome to morning prayer on this rather chilly Thursday morning. Bitterly cold here in Cumbria and I noticed that our sister Sue has joined us by logging in and the others who've not been able to log in, you are welcome to this table of love. For we sit not in judgment, but we try with God's help and yours to reach out to the marginalized to those who are hurting, to those who may have lost their way or may be feeling disillusioned by religion, or maybe they've been a victim of religious violence. So we pray together. And we do that by lighting a candle this morning for all here present, but especially for our dear brother Paul, who's making a journey today to Los Angeles and he needs all our prayers for a special intention. So we dedicate morning prayer for Brother Paul and we say thank you God for bringing this amazing, wonderful, beautiful man of God into all our lives. We light this light in the name of our Father, Mother God, who creates life, in the name of Jesus, the cosmic Christ, who loves life, in the name of the Spirit, who is the fire of life, and in the name of our Earth Mother, and Mother Mary, our Heavenly Mother, who both nurtured the divine in all lives. And in the name of all faith traditions and none, on behalf of my brothers and sisters in the Teo community, I, Brother Sean, welcome you to this table of love. Amen. And now we begin with our Thursday morning prologue, as we say, and you may wish to say it after me or just listen. We enter the eternal and infinite garden with reverence to the heavenly Father, Mother God, the earthly mother and all the great masters and reverence to the holy pure and saving teaching and reverence to the brotherhood and sisterhood of the elect. Thursday morning we commune with the angel of water saying, angel of water, <clears throat> enter my blood and give the water of life to my whole being. As you say this, you contemplate the waters of earth in rain, rivers, lakes, seas, or anywhere, even flooding, where the currents of the angel of water are left intensifying and directing the circulation of the blood. So we come to this table and we share with you a beautiful prayer of thanksgiving from the Iona community in Scotland. O loving Christ who died upon the tree of life, each day and each night we remember your love. In our lying down and in our rising up, in life and in death, you are our health and you are our peace. Each day and each night we remember your forgiveness bestowed on us so gently and generously each day and each night. May we be fuller in love with you. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now we have our first reading, and the reading is from Jesus now. What it means to believe. In John's Gospel, chapter 6, verses 53, to 54, we read this verse. Truly, truly, I say unto you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. He who eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. You who seek God must try to understand what it really means to believe in God. As food is eaten and thus received into the body and thereafter supports the total life system of the individual, so the Spirit of God must be embraced, absorbed, taken into our spirit to become the source of your strengths as well as the motivating purpose for your lives and living. Jesus has come from God. 
assuming your humanity and subjecting himself to the same forces that shape your lives. He has identified with you in order that he may relate to you. He is the light of God and he is the love of God, the communicator of his grace to his creatures in this world. You are to identify with him, partake of him, receive him as your savior and your Lord. When you do this, you become restored children of God and you become with Christ, lights that force back the darkness that threatens to shroud this planet. When you do this, you truly begin to live for yourselves, for others, and forever. Your profession of faith is important. It is sincere. Sorry, if it is sincere, it is a beginning, but only a beginning. A genuine profession will be followed by obedience to Christ's will and purpose for your lives. You become one with him. I see is already one with God. You become with him the children and servants of a loving father, Mother God. There are scores of people who assume they are working for Christ and yet have not become identified with him. There are others who seek to use him as his name and his name to push their own projects to further their self-centered objectives. They even call on him for help when life becomes too much for them to handle. Yet, they have not allowed him to become the source and power of their lives. They have not really learned what it means to believe in God. I pray that that reading will speak to your heart because it's so powerful, it's poignant, and it really has opened my eyes and my heart to the many games the children of God will play or resort to in order to get their own will. I've seen it so many times in the monastery where brother monks would play all sorts of mind games but you see, our Father in secret knows. He knows us because he carved us in the palm of their hand. So let us come to this table of love and let there be no fear in our heart today because we are love.
And now, my dear brothers and sisters, we come to an important part of our coming together today. We come together as children of a loving God. We may not feel that love. In fact, we may feel anything but that love. But the Father, Mother, God gives to you and me the opportunity throughout the day, even the night, to just say, Thank you, God. So now we come with all our intercessions and we share them with our brother Jesus, who is here, because he said, where two or three are gathered in my name, I am with you. So let us just begin now by focusing on our intentions this morning. Life be in my speech, truth in what I say. The love Christ Jesus gave be filling every heart for me. The love Christ Jesus gave be filling me for everyone. <coughs> Excuse me. And we read. We pray to the Father, Mother, God, who sent their Holy Spirit to bring you life to the hearts of us all. Lord, send us the light of your spirit. Blessed are you, the source of all life. All creation rightly gives you praise. Lord, send us your Holy Spirit. To the resurrection of your Son, the world is filled with light. Through the gift of your Holy Spirit, May your light shine out across the universe. Lord, send us your Holy Spirit. Light of all the nations, look upon those who live in darkness. Open their hearts to accept you as the one true loving Father, Mother, God. Lord, send us the life of your Spirit. For a moment now, let us name, bless, and release to God our requests this morning. And as I explained at the beginning of prayer, we're dedicating this for our dear brother Paul, <coughs> excuse me, and his very special intentions of this day. 
we remember all the men and women who've surrendered their hearts to God and who live that simple life following in the footsteps of Jesus, treasuring the Beatitudes in their heart, trying to emulate Francis and Clare and all the great spiritual teachers of all the great world religions. Because in the eyes of God, God has no favorites. We are all loved. We are all equal in the eyes of God. So in the strength of that knowledge, we come to this table of love and we bring all God's children of all faiths and none who are hurting today. The migrants in Europe, where there's a great furore because they've come into Europe with different, from a different culture, with different ways of doing things, and where local people are getting their back up and now beginning to resent the migrants, especially in Germany and Sweden <clears throat> and in um, parts of Denmark where young girls have been groped, even sexually assaulted. So we pray, we pray that the Spirit of God, of Yahweh, Jehovah, Allah, the Supreme, will speak to the hearts of all concerned and bring about a favorable solution. Today we pray for all our religious leaders that they come into the real world and that they see what's happening in Civvy Street. Because it's so easy to become aloof from the world, especially if you live in monastic borders and communities. But in the real world, for those who have chosen to live as a monastic in the world from their monastery without walls, I feel is a greater challenge than living in a monastic house where you've got, say, 10, 12, or maybe 50 brothers, sister monks. Because everything there is made to allow the person stay focused on God, whereas in the world, you have to go out and earn your daily bread and deal with the pressures of the modern world. So I pray for all the men and women of the different faith traditions, especially within the Abrahamic faith, who are discouraged or hurting in their calling to God. I pray today for the many requests on the Order of Franciscan Hermits uh, Facebook page and on our own website, the Teo Community, where we have a prayer requests page and you're welcome to leave a request so that we can remember you at morning and evening prayer. We pray today for all our brothers and sisters, past and present in the Teo community. We pray for our brother James and his forthcoming trip to Syria, that God will be in it, that the Archangel Michael will be his shield and his sword and protect him from the forces of negativity and evil, from those evil darts that mankind is capable of throwing. We put our brother James in a circle of light and we thank God with Mother Mary, Kranjena Magdalena and the whole assembly of angels, archangels, spirit guides and ascended masters and we protect our brother and his team. With Sister Sue, we pray <clears throat> for her family who will be coming to bury her aunt tomorrow. We pray that John will have a safe journey to Yorkshire and that it will be a pleasant time for the family in coming together to celebrate the life of a good woman. I pray today for our hill farmers and all their livestock, many of whom now on the mountains here in Cumbria are decked with snow. And that's not an easy life, is it? Let us pray now in a moment of silence for the fresh outpouring of God's Holy Spirit upon you and your loved ones, upon all religions to unite and come together. And also, to pray for all our brother and sisters who are Franciscans, 
that they come together, that they work together for Francis and Claire, instead of going off and building their own little castles and competing with one another. But we're human, but we're also divine. Let us be still. In the stillness of this hour, O oh God, we thank you for your beloved Son, Jesus. We thank you, Father, Mother, God, for never turning your back on your children, even though we deserve your rejection for the heinous crimes that we commit against you in one another. I ask you to bless the many names whom I have promised to pray for today. I ask you to bless our dear sister Sue, Eleanor, Elizabeth, Elaine, Miriam, Nancy, and I pray especially for Paul, for James, for brother and sister Francis in America, and for brother Dylan, who are now expressing an interest in walking that path of love. So we gather all our thoughts, our fears, our anxieties, our worries, and all our beautiful pets. We bring them all into this circle of love as we say, Our Father, Mother God, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give to each one of us today our daily bread. Forgive us our trespass, as we forgive all those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And our closing prayer this Thursday morning <clears throat> is a beautiful Celtic prayer from Ireland. Bless to me, O God, the earth beneath my feet. Bless to me, O God, the path on which I go. Bless to me, O God, the people whom I meet. O God of all gods, bless to me my life. And I just realized I forgot to pray for dear Margaret, one of our live stream family who joins us every evening on Doves for Peace. Forgive me, Margaret. I send you love, light and blessing and to Victor for letting me know. So with this light we say, the blessing of heaven, the blessing of earth, the blessing of sea and sky on those we love this day and on every human family the gift of heaven, the gift of earth, the gift of sea and sky, the gifts of brother sun and sister moon and the animal kingdom be in your heart this day and every day. Amen. As I blow out this light, I blow the healing touch of Christ to you and all your loved ones living and deceased. Amen. Namaste, shalom, inshallah, pax et bonum, om shanti, solo di caritas, salam alaikum, and may the peace of our Lord Jesus the Christ reawaken your heart to the I am presence of God all around you. And I pray that you either have a good sleep or a good day, wherever you are in the world. Come back. We're live again at five this evening and every morning at this time and every evening at five o'clock. Take care. Peace.